Welcome to TradePro. In this video, I'm going to be testing a simple trend following stochastic RSI strategy, 200 trades in a row, so you guys can see how it performs over a series of trades. Now let's talk about the rules to the strategy. I'll get into the testing and show all the results at the end. Now, if you're interested in my Patreon or my other affiliates, check out those links in the description down below. Now let's talk about the strategy. First, let's cover the indicators being used, starting with the stochastic RSI, which does have default settings and the inputs being 3, 3, 14, 14 and close. So that's going to be a trading view default stochastic RSI. And then we also have a stop loss indicator here, and this is set to default, but I'll show you which one that I'm actually using. So we'll type in stop loss. It's called stop loss indicator by Edgar underscore Tran underscore TR uh, dot dot dot. So that's the one that I'm using with default settings right there. And then I'm also using the trade pro rejection zone indicator, which you can type in rejection zone and trade pro rejection zone indicator. Essentially with this one, it's just a 50 period and a 20 period exponential moving average. And what's happening with it is it's just shading in the area between those two EMAs. So if the 20 period EMA is below the 50 period EMA, the cloud will be red. And if the 20 is over the 50, it's going to be a green cloud. So we'll be using this as a trend direction indicator. This will be our stop loss indicator. And then the stochastic RSI will be giving us our entry signals. So let's talk about the exact rules and stop loss placement, take profit target and uh, get into this. Now here are the rules for a short trade entry. The first rule is we need to have a red cloud, which means the 20 period exponential moving average is below the 50 period exponential moving average. Next, we need to see that price pulls back into the rejection zone indicator. So pulling back to at least the 20 period exponential moving average and touching it. And the third will be the stochastic RSI comes into the overbought territory over the 80 level and then crosses down. So we do have a cross down right here on the stochastic RSI, which coincides with this red candle right here. So that would be the entry candle, very simple strategy. Stop loss goes to the stop loss indicator and then targeting 1.5 times the risk. And it's worth noting, this is by no means the optimal setup. So this stop loss placement, this risk to reward ratio, I'm just kind of choosing defaults for these and they are not ideal. So um, definitely worth testing other things out. You can try moving the stop loss to break even at a certain point, but um, this is what I will be testing, this very simple setup. So let's go to the next one here where we get across down on the stochastic RSI. It's in the overbought. We saw the pullback into at least the 20 period EMA and the rejection zone indicator. So let's get our entry candle right here and stop loss to the stop loss indicator, targeting 1.5 times the risk. Okay, so let's talk about a long entry now. Now for a long trade entry, we need to see a green cloud, which means the 20 period EMA is over the 50 period EMA. Then we need to see the pullback price touching into the rejection zone indicator, at least to the 20 period EMA. And we need to see the stochastic RSI in the oversold territory below the 20 level, and then a cross up on that stochastic RSI. So we get one right here, price is pulled back into the rejection zone indicator. And so that is going to be our entry candle. Stop loss will go to the stop loss indicator and then targeting 1.5 times risk. And let's go to the next one. So we get another cross up here. We saw a pullback touch the 20 here. So we still have a valid cross to the upside on this candle and then stop loss to the stop loss indicator. And this one does get stopped out. Looks like our next one may be valid here and we have the stop loss at the stop loss indicator targeting 1.5 times the risk and that one's a winner so that is the strategy it's a super simple so i'm not going to talk about the strategy itself anymore and again of course you can change things about the strategy i'm just testing an extremely simple version of the strategy 200 times so now let's get into the 200 tests and then i'll cover the results at the end
right, the results are in after the 200 backtested trade, so let's cover it. This was tested on Bitcoin against the US dollar on a one hour time frame using a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. It took six and a half months of price data to find the 200 trade setups. Out of those, there were 95 winning trades, 105 losing trades, which gives it a 47.5% win rate. The most wins in a row was 10 and the most losses in a row was 12. The gain on the account was 37.5%, assuming the risk of 1% of account equity per trade and non-compounding. So let's cover you know kind of how this stacks up to others by putting it on the spreadsheet it does a decent job a 47.5 percent win rate with a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio is not bad it's not good um, and i'd say it's pretty much expected from this type of simple strategy so let's put it on the uh, strategy ranking spreadsheet and see how it compares Okay, here it is on the strategy ranking spreadsheet, falling at spot number 65 out of 84 strategies tested on my channel so far. So it's not doing very well, kind of falling in that lower range of tests here. And I did cut that gain on the account figure in half because all of these are based on 100 tests and I tested this one 200 times. So just simply cut it in half to be fair with all these other ones. Um, now what we can do is kind of compare a one to 1.5 risk to reward ratio with a 47.5 percent win rate let's see what other tests had for their win rates using the same risk to reward ratio so if we go up the spreadsheet here we can see the best one one to 1.5 risk to reward ratio with a 62 percent win rate um, and then if we scroll down a little one to 1.5 55 percent win rate here for this one um, and let's find one more 53 percent win rate for this one so it didn't do very well for a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio test, although it did still show profitability over a series of 200 trades. And of course, 200 tests is much better than just 100. So this may be a bit more of an accurate test, um, but nonetheless, not doing very well compared to the others that I have tested. Um, so it's not going to be one of those ones that I would look really much farther into but i do think that the simplicity is nice potentially being able to move the stop loss to break even using a different method of placing the stop loss um, and uh, maybe a different profit target or multi-stage take profit something you know where we can improve the results by changing these other little parts of the strategy um, may be beneficial so um, not to write it off completely but not doing all that great in this specific test okay so that is going to conclude this video and don't forget to like the video comment down below for the youtube algorithm check out my patreon link and my affiliate links if you need a crypto exchange that is valid in the u.s um, check out my bitget affiliate link and if you're outside of the u.s you can check out my bybit um, affiliate link but appreciate anyone who uses my links and have a great day